Hello, and welcome back to KubeCon Cloud NativeCon 2024, North America, Salt Lake City, high altitude, <laughs> achieving new heights, and going on. We're, we're here, opening day two, super excited. We got a great lineup for you. But right now, we're going to dig into some of the insights that we had from day one. Uh, you know, I'm Rob Streche, joined by Savannah Peterson, as always, my co-pilot <laughs> in, uh, in Kube. Uh, and you know, I, I think what's been really fun this week has been a lot of the community. And I, I think we've seen a lot of people we know mm -hmm. again and again. So many on. people. To your yes. point, Rob, we could barely have lunch yesterday. We had so many friends coming to say hi. It was, it was awesome. It's great, by the way. I always say hi. Yes. I always say hi, too. Although in the bathroom's a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> that got, that got yeah. a little weird yesterday, but uh, that's okay. Yeah. So, but I, I think the, the community is just so vibrant. Um, some of the things that were going on today on, you know, yesterday was really around platform engineering as part of yep. the keynote. It was a big platform engineering day. Uh, we had Hen and Peter on after they were off the main stage and they talked about how they're using Kubernetes at CoreWeave to scale out their AI infrastructure for the, you know, being able to build a GPU a CSP for the future, train large language models. What they are doing and how they are actually pulling it all together was really interesting and we got to dig in on that as well, so. Yeah, no, I mean, and talk about a company that's had a lot of explosive growth lately. We've been talking, big conversation about DevOps versus platform engineering, the healthy tension there. But I do feel there's this, this return to platform engineering. I'm not surprised they dedicated a full day to it. Today's theme being security, also not a big surprise. And tomorrow's theme being the 10 year anniversary of Kubernetes, which we've really been celebrating all year long since Paris, which is which is pretty exciting. And across a few other events, you know, we also, we had so many great guests. We had a couple awesome Red Hat segments yesterday. Nathan from Vulture did an awesome job. Luke at Nutanix. It's been a, a really impressive. Betty is always a joy to have. Now she's over there leading the Heroku team too. Yeah. It's great to say hello. Yeah, with Betty on, and then we had, a, you know, AB on. We had a number of other people. We had MinIO on, and it was, I think what what really struck me was, and it, there's been this really interesting undercurrent from yesterday was, oh, Kubernetes is boring now. It's all solved. And then we had the opposite when we were talking to Hen and Peter. Like, yeah, yeah it's did. still pretty complicated. Yeah. Especially, and I think the word is at scale. Mm -hmm. And I think when you start to go around, and I've you know, gone around a little bit uh, over the you know, course of the day and this morning, a lot of people talking about how do you get to scale and yeah. how do you really productionalize all of this. And I think that was the key that I'm coming away from from yesterday and a lot of the people we had on. I know that'll be another theme. And like you said, uh, we actually talked about some of the new projects that are in the Linux Foundation, like PyTorch yeah. and VLLM, which uh, I loved when- Lots of uh, new projects, this, this particular KubeCon as well. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, when we talked about it, and I think it was Jeremy from Red Hat talked about it being really the new LAMP stack. And that, yeah. that really hit home for me. Uh, in fact, I tweeted about that this morning. I think it makes a lot of sense, all of these things, and the foundation, being CNCF is part of the Linux Foundation, coming together with those other projects as well. Yeah, I think I think you're absolutely right. You know, I want to sit on the community piece that you brought up. I know that's one of the big reasons you and I love this show so much. I fundamentally think some of the conversations that we have here are different, and not just because of the subject matter and this being such a Kubernetes and cloud native focused event and celebrating the open source community, but just thinking about even having Arun on at the end of the show last night and getting the chance to talk about Movember, talking about self-care, men's mental health. I had Costas came up from Octopus in deployment this morning to tell me how much our deaf and hard of hearing working group storytelling really means both to that working group but to the larger community and to have someone who is able come over and compliment our accessibility content really just hit home for me. And I think that's representative of how invested this community is in not just the tech. The tech is almost a side piece to, you know, a side dish to the main dish. And the main dish here is a community of people who want to build the best products, the most trusted products. And frankly, it's never been more important now than ever. But that that culture of wanting to help and celebrate each other, we just had the community awards on the main stage here this morning. It's distinctly different here. I think this is the show I get the most hugs. Yeah. And and, and I am a hugger, consensual hugs for the record, not it's <laughs> not uh, not something I'm uncomfortable with, but 
I, I think that's also a, a really interesting benchmark. We and we also have, you know, as you and I were just joking and when you walked up to the set, not even joking, speaking factually about, we have so many people we know coming on today. Yes. It's, it's basically a friendly reunion. It's brands we know. It's faces and thought leaders that, that the world knows in this space. We feel really lucky to be able to do that. But it, it's so nice. It's so nice learning from such smart and inspiring folks. Right. And I, I think that's the thing is that we, we see a lot of things at a lot of different shows and kind of bringing what we see at those shows and then seeing how... This infrastructure, this is, I, I would say, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, this is the largest infrastructure show now. Like, bar none, I, I think when you start to look at right, it. right, Rob. Yeah, people come here to learn about it. In fact, uh, my wife was on a call with one of her vendors. She's back in Boston at work, and she was on a Zoom call with them, and the guy was here. Oh, that's awesome. So she's like, oh, I could have been in Salt Lake. And so <laughs> I, I think we you got to bring start, her next yeah, time. I mean, well, we'll see. You know, it, it would, Atlanta, she likes Atlanta, so we'll, we'll see where we get to, or London. Uh, but yeah, I think when you look at it, the community and this being such an infrastructure show, especially with the additions of Vert, uh, with KubeVert, the upstream, with OpenShift Vert, and what we talked about yesterday. And I think there's a lot of pieces coming together that really are straddling a lot of the different shows that used to be out there. And, Agree. And, and I think, you know, the big shows used to be, you know, reInvent, Google Next, uh, Ignite is next week. I, you started to look at the cloud shows and they're more specialized now for those messaging. I think because this is such a community show, you get everybody, you get all of the, they're all here. The, I mean, the Intels, the AMDs. Oh yeah, IBM's right next to yeah. us here. You know, yeah. You, you've got you've got the massive hyperscalers. You've got some of the largest companies on the planet here. Well, actually, you do. I'm sure Nvidia is milling around in the house. And then you've also got some of the scrappiest, smallest, leanest startups, projects, contributors. And 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 I love that you just brought that up, Rob, because I think it's an outstanding point. It's becoming this this holistic, full ecosystem play, which really is infrastructure, right? It's not just these kind of one-off projects that are or like Kubernetes, for example. It's a much more robust and mature ecosystem. And I think as a result, it changes the conversation and people do prioritize coming to shows like this. You know, I was just thinking to myself, it seems like there's always a big theme every show. And I think right now it's actually doing all of this at scale is almost the theme. It's not necessarily one specific topic. You know what acronym I haven't heard at all this entire week? WASM. Yeah, they, they had a WASM con Day. They had a, they had but awesome day, but remember uh, when we were in Amsterdam, back. I believe yeah. your first KubeCon with us, yes. we were talking about Wasm a lot. Yes, and it seemed like WebAssembly was going to be uh, in the forefront, in the spotlight. You know, we've got friends on those teams. It's not to put down that industry. I'm just talking about the share of voice. Yeah. I quite literally have not heard that acronym. Yeah, I, it, it's interesting you brought that up, and I, I think to your point of. of things we've seen kind of move up in maturity. I, yeah. I think that was part of what they were talking about. And today's keynote was project health and things of that nature. And I think there's still a lot that has to happen with them bringing together all of these different voices and getting enough healthy projects to yeah. graduation. And I think that's still a big theme and a big effort for the CNCF. We know from talking to Suda that they're in meetings all day today. And yeah, yeah, the board's meeting the today. The board's meeting today. So, you know, I, I think there's some work to be done, but I think, uh, you know, like you said, their, their picture of the mountains on their shirt, the t-shirt about scaling. Yeah, scaling new heights. new heights. It makes a lot of sense, so. I, I think I, you're absolutely right there. The theme is spot on. Nice job to Priyanka and the crew for coming up with that. Yeah, so we have a whole bunch coming on from a whole bunch of different companies from Aviatrix to Red Hat to MinIO, back to Google to another one with Red Hat, Pure and the Portworks folks. Uh, and then we have Dynatrace and Buff uh, to kind of round things out today. All, We've all, got a really great... we got a really great lineup across yeah, all the different pieces of infrastructure that mm -hmm. from observability to infrastructure to AI, to a number of the different pieces. I'm just really excited for also the you know data protection and uh, cyber resilience because you know you think about AI that needs that. So I'm really excited for today. Yeah, I, I am too. And you know, Rob, I mean, we're, we're only, it's day two of three. I'm very excited for Friday as well. Looking forward to having so many, we, we've got CNCF coming back on. We've got more Salesforce friends. 
and perhaps my favorite segment of the show, we have the deaf and hard of hearing working group coming back on. And, and I'm so excited to hear how much progress they will have made. They're now, they've now been out and about for a year and a half, making such strides that working group continues to grow and do magical things. And I know I saw that Milad and Rob gave a talk and, and I, I just think it's going to be great to get to touch base and see how they're changing accessibility, both of this conference, but of every conference and all the content around the world. So it's going to be a special couple of days left still. I agree. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you. And, uh, you know, Pleasure, let's let's get re you know ready to ro rumble here. I mean, this is going to be a lot of fun. So. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna be I, great. I, I think it's the altitude that's getting me like going like that. <laughs> I had the giggles last night, so we had, who knows know, what's gonna happen on set today, <laughs> folks. You just you just buckle your seatbelts. Yeah. Could be fun. Stay tuned. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with more exciting content from KubeCon, Cloud Native Con, 2024, North America, Salt Lake City, New Heights, and we're going up that mountain. Stay tuned. <laughs>